The stitch itself consists of four rows that you continuously repeat. Um, two rows in a light shade, two rows in a dark shade. Now the color combination can is endless here, so you can do a lot of things with this stitch. Four rows and each tooth or pattern here consists of four stitches. That goes for the darker color as well. It consists of four stitches. So four rows that you repeat and four stitches that you repeat. Now the diagram here is a drawing. All the symbols here are explained up here. You have chains, single crochet, double crochet. You have double crochet that you pick up on the rows below. You have a double crochet with a five chain picot. You have slip stitches to change rows and you have slip stitches in chains to change row. I'm just going to show you down here. Now the four rows are shown in four different colors uh, or rounds actually. Since this is a chowl we're going to work the pattern in the round. Now uh, the first two rounds you're, you're not going to repeat once you've done them. So take those out of the equations or the equation once you start working the pattern. What you repeat is round three, four, five, and six. As I have written up here, you repeat row three, four, five, and six. So start your pattern with working a round of chains, which you can divide by four. To close your row of chains, you just make sure that you, ha you have the top upwards so you don't twist it. Uh, you just find the first stitch that you did and you close the first round, you finish the first round by going to the back side. This is the front side of the chains. Go to the back side of the chains. You have these uh, center arches, which you're going to work uh, the second row, uh, the second round in. So you just find the first one, go through it, like this, and just pull it through and pull it through. So that was round one. You work the second round by beginning with three chains. One, two, three. The first stitch is a double crochet with a five chain picot. So do the double crochet. And now I'm going to show you the five chain picot. One, two, three, four, five. You close it up by picking those two stitches. You see it looks like this. And you pick up those two stitches. You have three stitches on your hook and you just pull through all three of them. Now your, your work looks like this. Chain one, you just did three chains, the double crochet with the five uh, pico, uh, the five chain pico arch, so to speak, and you did a single crochet. This corresponds here. And now you actually start working the stitch. The stitch is two double crochet, a double crochet with a five pico arch and a chain. Skip one arch. One double crochet. Two double crochet. 
do the third double crochet, you do the picot arch. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is not the most friendly yarn in the world, but it is thick, so I can show you how to work the stitches. Finish up the picot, chain one, and repeat this. Repeat. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Go through the front. Chain one. Now the reason why I go through the arch here is that you get this nice edge at the beginning of your work. And you just repeat it. So your row looks like this. Repeat this all the way around your work. And I'm just going to show you how to finish round two. So to finish up the round, you have done the three double crochet and the five chain picot. Uh, you have done the uh, chain. And you're just going to finish with the double crochet. I'm just going to show you. Done the chain, make the double crochet, and again, find the, find the right arch, the back of your work, and work the double crochet. Whoops, and I'm just going to, oh, sorry, it's because I'm looking at the camera and not my work. I'm just going to, you find the arch on the back and you work the double crochet in that. So now your work actually looks like this. Uh, and what you want to do is you want to make that slip stitch, which is drawn in those three chains. And you just find the top chain and work the slip stitch through the top chain. Now this is just really difficult to get these. This yarn is not my friend. <laughs> okay, there you go. So it looks like this and you just pull the, th the string through the stitches, all three of them. And then your work looks like this. So the, so that this, looks very much like this stitch. Okay, so you just pull that through so you have a nice big chain. Drop the yarn and take this one and put it behind the arch of chains. Go through the arch with your needle and go through this on the back side of your work. Give the uh, yarn a tug so it's nice and tight and it looks like this and change to the other color of yarn. Pr 
pull the yarn through I'm just gonna get these organized so it looks nice and neat on the front side pull the yarn through and make that one slip stitch on top of the arch not a full crochet just a slip stitch you can see it in the pattern right here I'm just gonna circle it for you that's the first slip stitch the next slip stitch that I've shown or chain that I've shown you here is when you finish the round so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna work a double crochet that picks up two rows below okay So you're on top of the arch, on top of the picot, and you just work a double crochet all the way under. Just tuck a little, little uh, pull it a little so that you get a nice, so it doesn't get too tight, but again, you don't want it too loose either. So then your work looks like this. And that was the first of these pick up double crochet two rows below stitch. Then you make two chains, a double crochet, and again you're at the five chain picot, and you just do a single crochet, double crochet where you pick up below, and just stretch it nice. So you have this definition. Your work looks like this. So I'm just going to show you on the diagram here. I just worked the double crochet under the two chains, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet going below two rows. So you repeat that two single stitches, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet going two rows below. You have two stitches here so you can get, when you actually look at the stitch, I'm just gonna pick out, get out this, the finished work. When you look at the stitch here, because you have two stitches, you can pull it up a little and you get nice air in the stitch and a nice definition. So, finished the row like this, two chains, a double crochet before the five chain picot, single crochet through the five chain picot, double crochet going under. Oops, I just need to get the right. yarn to pull through. So your work starts looking like this and you just continue. Two chains, single crochet before the arch. Single crochet through the arch, double crochet under. Sorry, did I say single crochet here? I meant, of course, a double crochet two chains, double crochet before the arch. Single crochet through the arch, double crochet under the work. Now the reason why I do the double crochet under the work is you get this nice, you have the first two rows here and you get this nice cut uh, with the, with the second color so you get this very nice variation and you get this nice detail on the edge which on your finished work will look like this okay so finish uh, round three and I'm just going to show you how to close up okay so at the end of round three you want to do a double crochet then you have to go back into that chain 
with with which you closed the second round. Okay, so you just have to find the right hole in the work. Actually, I'm just going to point out to you exactly where I want to go. I want to go right there. Actually, I'm going to draw on the yarn because I'm not going to use this afterwards. Right there. So yarn over and go for it. Um, just pull it through. It's going to be a little tight, uh, at least in this very woolen yarn. And you do a double crochet. Like with all the other stitches, you do it right before the picot arch. Now this is the slip stitch you started with. In that slip stitch, you do another slip stitch. So you finish. So when finishing the round, it looks like this. Round four. Start by chaining three doing a double crochet and a chain. That was those two and the chain. So round four, you work a double crochet with a five chain picot, a double crochet, a double crochet and a chain. And you just continue row four like that. The five chain picot. Close it up, make two double crochets. And a chain and repeat. Double crochet, five chain. Two double crochets. And a chain. Repeat. Double crochet. Five chains. Go through and close the picot. Two double crochets. So your pattern looks like this. Repeat all the way around. I'm just going to show you how to finish up here. So at the end of the round four, you just did the chain, the last chain. And you want to do the double crochet with the five chain picot, which is this one. Double crochet, five chain, pico through like this. Now you have this stitch open. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go through from the back side. on round four to pick up the stitch. So it looked like this. Take the stitch, put it on the hook like this, pull through like this. Take the stitch off the hook, drop the yarn. 
Now you have the pico, five chain pico, you have the stitch. Put the pico on top of the stitch. Go through the pico and go through the stitch. So it looks like this. Now pick up the first color. And to start round five, you just pull through like this and make a slip stitch like that. This one we're going to use for when we finish the round. Just going to line up. We did the double crochet, the five picots, and we did the slip stitch through that arch. I'm going to start the round with the double crochet. In front of the pico arch of the five chain pico arch. Go through here. Just step, make a double crochet like this. And now you're ready to work the pattern of round five. Two chains, yarn over, and here you drop before the five chain pico. Single crochet through the pico, double crochet after the pico. So it looks like this. Just gonna do it one more time so you get the feel of it. So you finish the stitch and then you do two chains and those two chains in the previous row is down here. I'm gonna go below those, below and finish the double crochet. The reason why I have two chains here and why I have two chains here is that, that you get this nice openness here and you get this clear definition of the tooth. Single crochet through the arch, double crochet after the five chain pico. And you finished the round like that. Two chains, double crochet going under, single crochet, double crochet. Okay, let's finish your round like this, work all the way around. I'm just gonna show you how to finish here. So you just did those two chains here. I'm just gonna line them out in the diagram. Those two chains, the last two chains in round five. And you want to finish up the round with a double crochet and a slip stitch. I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Uh, double crochet going under and a slip stitch, sorry. Double crochet going under, whoops, like this. Go into the slip stitch and make a new slip stitch, just like that. So you're finishing the round and it looks like this. Round six, chain three, make a double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, for the pico, go in front and finish the first three, the first two stitches actually, I'm sorry. Just line it out what you just did because it's going to keep your counting a little easier. So row six, the pattern goes like this, chain, one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and the five chain picot. 
I'm just going to repeat that one chain, three double crochets, and the last one is with the five chain pico. And you just work the entire round like that. I'm just going to show you. One chain. One double crochet. Two double crochet. And the third double crochet. And you add the five chain pico on top of that. Repeat. One chain. One double crochet. Two double crochet. Three double crochet. Five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Close the pico with a slip stitch like this. And repeat for the entire round. I'm just going to show you how to close round six. To finish round five, just do the last chain. Did you see it there? You do a double crochet and a slip stitch. Double crochet. You have the three chains and you go to the top one. Just go through the two. So it looks like this. And finish the whole thing with the slip stitch again. So you see this actually works as the top of those three chains. So it will hide in, in the pattern. Just take this slip stitch, put it behind the five picots, change on, just make sure you don't get the end, just on the back side here, get the yarn, and again you go through the arch with the knee, with the hook, go through the sti slip stitch, Pick up the yarn and pull through. Before you finish, just make sure that it's not too tight or too loose so that it has a nice give, but not a big loop. So just give it the right amount of stretch and make that slip stitch. And then you just basically repeat round three um, as I've written the pattern. You start with the slip stitch that goes under. Two chains. Just gonna remove this pad the pattern. Double crochet. Slip stitch. Oh sorry, single crochet. Double crochet going under, two chains, double crochet, single, double crochet going under. So you're repeating row three here, and thereby you get the pattern. So you can see that the tooth here on row one, two, three, four, which is actually row two in the entire pattern, you start with the picot and on row six, you have the picot on the other side so that it interlocks like this. Okay.
Thank you so much for buying this pattern at mgetdump.com and supporting my work. I hope to see you again soon. I hope that after you finish this chow, that you're going to go for the Emma's Houndtooth sweater in this stitch. It is a beautiful stitch with such a lot of variation and uh, possibilities to really bust your stash and work different kinds of yarn. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.